The opening to me was great, grand, in the standard of the league itself. And uh, I think uh, it's not only going to be me myself. Uh, I cannot uh, do this. I've, I've put the idea, I've put it into practice. It is here. And uh, the support of the media is going to be great. And if the media is not going to support the league, it will not be as big as we would want it to be. Uh, in this particular instance, I think uh, it is important to support this initiative because it's about women empowerment. And uh, the representativity of color is beyond a reasonable doubt. I know there are broadcasting rights between uh, big companies. SAPC is not here because of broadcasting rights, but we will negotiate to find a way that in, from the news perspective, SAPC must take part. I'm going to also convince the SAPC to invest some money uh, in buying broadcasting rights from the Premier League. It's not going to dethrone uh, the developmental work that is going on in the high schools and also that is going on in the universities. That will be a feeder to the league itself. And the Premier League is a prime uh, setup for players, uh, you know, to show their talent and uh, they are, I mean, at the same time, uh, to amass them in this way. And that gives us many options with regard to the national team because the national team will not only be selected from the players that play for the national team and so on. But also it's a good investment because when you talk about netball, you talk about massive sport of uh, young people, particularly women, throughout the country. So this is one area that has been untapped because if you talk about, you talk about the big three, yeah. You need to talk about the big four because netball is right up there. Yeah. In fact, it could be bigger than any sport. When we grew up, we know that it was only football and netball that was being played. The game was tough. The girls were all tough on all both sides and Pumalanga gave us a hard time. Even though I'm here because every quarter we won them. But I think because of the preparations that we had we, long before the tournament, that's what made us win because I prepared them especially for the third quarter and the fourth quarter because that's where you win or lose the game. Yeah, I remember it's the first game and the girls have never played such games at, at a high magnitude like this. So I think it was a lesson for them and we know now what to work on exactly. So that's what we're going to do. All the mistakes that I've, I've jotted down and I'll make sure that these girls will listen. But anyway, they are adults, they listen to me. And also, are you concerned with the movement of the ball? Because I think at some point you guys were moving the ball too slow, especially at attack. I am. I am. Truly speaking, that's what I've been talking about all the time. <laughs> Every half time I've been talking about guys, passes, 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 movement of the ball. Please open up the court for me. Please, I'm begging you. Because I could see that without correct or accurate passes, you won't win the game. It's a very great feeling. It's a great start. And I think it's an opportunity for all the girls to see how far they can push and how, how they can go <laughs> from here. I mean, you hardly took advantage. It was a lot of errors, handling errors, like stepping errors. Where do you think you guys got it right? With us, it was patience and utilizing our balls, our center passes. Yes, there were mistakes in a whole lot of them, but it, I think it was more of pressure. First game, first feeling of NPL, but besides that, I think it was a great match.